Today I'm going to attempt to make a guitar slide for my cigar box guitars from a wine bottle. So I've got my scar marks or my scorings up here on the, on the top of that tape and at the bottom of this one. This could be a little rough because if you can see up here, the score is not very good at the top one. So I'm hoping for the best here. On the bottom, it's pretty nice in that it's all the way around. The way we're gonna do this technique is with shocking the glass with ice water. I got my uh, yogurt cup here full of ice and water, and I'm in the process of boiling up the water here. As soon as that water starts to boil, we'll start to uh, soak the wine bottle here in the ice to get it cold, shock it in the boiling water, back and forth, back and forth a few times. You'll hear it pop. And at that point then, um, we'll be on our way to seeing what we have for a slide. I'm gonna first try to shock it and knock the top here off, and then we'll shock it and, and get the, uh, the other line here to crack second, and then this in between, we'll need some cleanup work as long as it's nice and we'll have a, a really cool glass slide. As I said, the idea here is to just dip it into that first score line and we'll shock it with heat and cold back and forth. We should hear a pop. This will soak in here for, you know, I don't know, 30 seconds, a minute, whatever. And I'll just put it back in the ice and go back and forth. All right, if you were listening, you may have just heard a tink, tink. That was the glass cracking. And there we go. That was, uh, considering how poor the scoring was, let me get the bottle in here so you can see it. That was actually pretty good. I can work with that and clean that up. I just heard a tink there. I don't know if that was the glass or if there's something else going on there. There you heard a, a big crack. It, it, I think it's okay because of the way you'll see that the bottle is cracked there. It did not go up into the slide, it went down. And so I think I can manage to work with that as well. This is what we have to work with. You see there's a big ridge there. That means it's gonna uh, require a lot of grinding to get that one down. Not impossible to do, it's just additional work. I do it, that should have been a very clean uh, around cut. That means I must have missed somewhere in the scoring, which caused a little stress, but at least it went into the part of the bottleneck that I don't want to use. And so that's a good thing. It just requires more work now to get it all cleaned up. On the other end, same kind of thing. We've looked at it a little bit already. We talked about that having that spike in there. That's nice and sharp right now. Uh, we've, we've seen where we got the ridge over here, where it's, uh, again, instead of being right on the score line, it went up further into the, uh, the top of the bottle, which is okay because I can always take that part off. If it cracks the other way into the slide, well, you're kind of doomed at that point. So I've got my safety glasses on. You can't see those. I've got my Dremel tool. It's got a little grinding bit here. It's like a diamond tip sort of on it. It'll help to polish this stuff right off. So let's have at it. Let's see how this does. Let's 
see that last powder coming off there. See how it took that little bit right off? That's what we're going to have to do all the way around this thing. Even up in here, that's a lot of glass to get off of there. But we'll eventually get it all done. Here we are after we've polished it down quite a bit. You can see the rough spots are, the really rough spots are gone. Now it's down to the fine polishing with the sandpaper. All right, here we will start our sanding process on the slide. We are using 3M uh, 150 wet dry paper. You can start out at the 150 level and then keep working your way down. If you want to get it ultra fine, you go all the way down into the like, thousand or even you know lighter grit than that to really put a polish on it. What I do is just sit here and I will circle around and around and around and around on this on both sides. Go through multi sheets of the different grades of the paper until we get it into a nice polished condition. You can see where you're at with the polishing. You can see the dull parts here, the shiny parts are where uh, those are a little bit deeper grooves. And you can see it here as well on this side where this part here is probably lower than the uh, other part where it's dulling out. Make sure you also grind in here and sand this part down in on the inside ring, even on the outside edge. Like that a little and then that will make sure that you don't have any of the sharp pieces on glass that might cut you as you're wearing uh, your guitar slide well here's the final product of the bottleneck slide uh, we've cut each end of it off so i got a nice chunk of glass there it fits my finger pretty well like that so that's nice i have taken it we've sanded it down there could be some more sanding on this to get it really, really nice and smooth and shiny on the ends. And I can always do that over time, but let's give this a try and see how it works. Think it does the job.